Happening right now, the Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board is meeting in a closed session to discuss who will be the next leader of the second largest school district in North Carolina. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy joins us here. So Robin, you've been keeping an eye on that meeting this afternoon. What's the latest here? Yeah, I have been checking that, Annie, and I at last check they were still in that meeting. They had not come out to adjourn. Now, the board did not officially announce why they're meeting, only saying it's a personnel matter. But sources tell me the CMS board is discussing in closed session behind closed doors right now who will be the next interim superintendent of CMS. Hugh Hadabaugh, the current interim, is stepping down at the end of the year year because of family obligations. And this is what happened. Take a listen now, just as the board voted to go into closed session right around 2.20 this afternoon. All those in favor, please raise your hand and say yes. 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 Any opposed? Yes. Okay, Madam Clerk, by a unanimous vote of nine to zero, we are in closed session. And the interim superintendent is set to be in place for the next six months as CMS searches for a permanent superintendent. Back in April, former superintendent Ernest Winston was fired by the school board after an outside investigator found complaints about Winston's handling of Title IX investigations. And that investigator said that he was slow to implement safety measures in schools. We're going to continue to monitor that meeting and let you know what comes out of it today, Annie. Thank you. We'll check in with you later.